I like I like to bang and uh, I wanted to, to throw more bombs, but I had to be concerned with the takedowns, of course. And uh, yeah, that that yeah that holds you back sometimes too, always a little bit. Right, you're obviously known for that. You know, you're, you're striking. No problem. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how much of your how much of your focus has been on preparing for mixed martial arts? Who are gonna probably want to push you against the cage and take you against the ground, take you around. It's getting better and better and better. I have a great team behind me. And, uh, great wrestlers like Daniel Cormier, uh, you know, who put me on my butt over and over and over again. So that's getting better. There's a, still a lot of work to do. But uh, I feel good and uh, I'm, I feel that I'm getting better every day, every day. And uh, I hope, just hope to be back in the cage soon again instead of being out for another year and, you know, just... Have fun. Right. How did it feel being in there in the octagon mm. with the UFC for the first time? Ah, nice. I mean, for me, it's it's like the biggest dream come true. I'm the first Dutch woman to step in the UFC octagon, so, uh, and now I'm even the first European to get a UFC win. So uh, I think later when I have kids in my life, uh, I got some nice stories to tell. <laughs> So you're quite sort of carrying that flag for European MMA? And yeah, I carry the flag with pride, uh, you know, the, with my Dutch pride, of course. And even though right, I live yeah, in the I United States now and I enjoy my time here, it's yes. great. Uh, yeah, so uh, next time I'll probably carry two flags. Oh, yeah. <laughs>